I call this method fold and fire. What we're trying to do is get the right wrist, right elbow to fold completely and early on the backswing. Fold completely and then the fire part is to release those angles. So it's really fold and straighten. So everything's folded on the backswing except left arm of course stays straight which makes the shoulders turn but the whole right area get an angle here get an angle there we get all these angles and then we straighten all these angles so at impact we're back to this position everything is unfolded so probably the best name would be fold unfold the fold and fire sounds better fold fire right wrist right elbow create a lot of angles and fold very quickly complete fold on the backswing complete fire on the downswing nice and crisp good release the good thing about this is that you really release the club if you're if you're thinking about folding and straightening you're really getting a good hard release through impact the concept is folding of the right elbow but more in more so in the right wrist during the backswing so we have a lot of a lot of bending here not so much here but we still have some bending the left arm definitely stays straight it has to stay straight okay but we have to have a lot of folding of the right side on the backswing and then we unfold it on the downswing sometimes combining two methods gives you a better result so we're talking about folding firing Let's add another F, let's add feet to that. Folding, firing, feet. And by feet I mean balance. So if you recall the, the concept of comfort, staying comfortable throughout the swing, that's the balance we're talking about. So feet, fold, fire. Nice and comfortable. No effort, good club head speed, good release, got gravity working for you, got leverage working for you. So combining the balance and comfort on your feet and trying to maintain that comfort level throughout along with the folding and then the releasing, folding and fire. Feet, fold, and fire, all three. Be comfortable first and stay comfortable. It was really comfortable throughout. Had good lag, good club head speed, good release. That's what we're looking for. Create the angles. Release the angles. Fold, straighten. So at impact, you're here, you're completely extended and completely released of the energy through impact. So it's a really good method to release the golf club and get club head speed. Very good, excellent result there. Got to use that more often.